Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Hisham Saleh welcoming you to another episode of Full Moon, the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is narrated that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once told Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, why don't you recite some Quran to me? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, O Prophet of Allah, how could I recite it to you when it was revealed on you? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied by saying, Oh, I like to hear it from others. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anh, started reciting from Surah An-Nisa. He started at the beginning up until he reached the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَعْدَ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِن كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him to stop and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam began to weep and cry. So the meaning of the verse is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِن كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ How it is when we bring a witness from every nation and we bring you as a witness on these people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Ahzab, Ya ayyuha nabiyu inna arsalna ka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadheera wa da'iyan ila Allah bi'idhnihi wa sirajan munira O Prophet, we have sent you we have sent you as a witness against against who? Against all of humanity. For those who followed you, you'll be a witness for. And those who did not follow you, you'll be a witness against. Shahidan wa mubashiran. Somebody who brings good news, glad tidings. Again, good news for the ones who follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa nadira. And as a warner. A warner to all those who choose to disobey Allah azza wa jal. Wa da'iyan ila Allah and a caller to the path of Allah, to Allah Azza wa Jal, bi'idhnihi, with the permission of Allah Almighty, wa sirajan munira, and a lamp full of light, as an enlightening source to all of humanity, to all of existence. And Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says in another verse, where He shows the duty of this, of, of this thing being a witness, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا And we have made you a middle nation, a wasat nation. What does it mean to be wasat? Some scholars have said the best of nations. And other scholars have said that wasat here means that you are upright. You're suitable to be a witness. Why? So that you be a witness against the nations, the other nations that disobeyed Allah Azza wa Jal, and so that the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal will be a witness as well over you. So the message of this video is that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be a witness on the day of judgment. The question is, would you want him to be a witness for you or against you? If you want him to be a witness for you, then you have to know him. You have to know his sunnah. You have to obey him and you have to love him and you have to fulfill all of his rights. Otherwise, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be a witness against you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Full Moon, the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا رسول سلام علي